Hi there, welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today I'm gonna cover a really nice topic and it's uh, UI alerts. It's those pop-up messages that appear in the middle of your screen sometimes. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode. And create as always a new project. It's going to be UI alert example. And there. All right, what are we going to need for this for this project? Well, in the user interface, we are going to need uh, two buttons and a label. This label is going to be button zero, for example. Bit bigger there. Now we're gonna have two buttons, one here. So UI alert with the bigger font size and another one around here. So UI alert two buttons. All right. What are we going to do now? We go to assistant editor, and as always, we need to establish the connections. So go to a dot h file. Control drag. Uh, we're gonna name it text label. This will be an IB action and it's going to be so alert press and finally so alert two buttons pressed. Alright. Now that we have that we need to go to the implementation file. You can close up the assistant editor. And we're going to go over how to show a UI alert. Alright, if you remember, I used it in my last tutorial, but I didn't go over how it works. So, first of all, I'm going to create a method. So, UI alert with message. And it's, it's going to, message is going to be a string. Name it message. And title which is going to be a string to title alright, now what we need to do is yeah, alert view alert it's going to be UI alert view we need to allocate it and then in it with title title message message delegate here we have to say self uh, cancel button title is going to be yes okay so okay it needs to be an, an string another button title is just nil close it there and we don't need this part Uh, this goes here. And this doesn't matter. Alright. Now, f what we need to do is just alert. So, very easy. So this is the title of the message. The message, the delegate, I'll talk about it later. What's going to be the cancel button text. And we don't need other buttons. Now, I'm also going to show you how to use your alerts that have more than one button. So we're just going to overwrite the same method and say 
and button one and a string pointer string got pointer I mistyped it still Jesus and a string pointer there we go and a string pointer button one this is going to be a text in button one and button two and a string button two <laughs> alright now the only difference is that here alert add button with title and we say button one and button two alert sorry very easy Alright, now since we are going to have multiple buttons in here, sometimes you would like to know what button was pressed. So in order to do that, you have to go back to the H file here. And in here you have to say UI alert view delegate. And then we're going to implement a method called it's avoid alert view click the button on index alright in the end file we just have to define that method well to implement that method sorry we defined it in the other class and it's going to be void earth view click button at index if button index is zero so that's remember zero is going to be our cancel button we're going to say that text label is going to be equal to button ok oh sorry else if we have the first one this would be the first button so button 1 it goes in the order we add them text table text button one and you can probably guess the other one is yes else if button index equals two button two all right and now we need to implement these methods in here so if we press this button we're gonna show a normal alert so so you yeah, alert of message and title message will be you pressed a button message it's gonna be a title and finally for the other one so so you yeah, alert with message you pressed another button title is going to be message um, button one yes eh. one and button two yep still all right that's going to be it let's give it a try all right press it here you press the button okay we got okay and on here we have multiple buttons if we press one one two and okay okay that's going to be it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time